made sure I came early for my appointment. Appointment is done under 9.30. This was a success. Now I'll use the restroom when I leave. Hi y'all, I feel like I started this vlog this morning without even really saying anything. So I got up super early this morning because I had an appointment all the way in Brooklyn that was 9 a.m. However, I wanted to get to the appointment from earlier so that I could be done earlier, which I did get to do, which is very good. And now we're going on like a little breakfast date. I prioritize these little breakfast dates or just a date in general at least once a week because we both work crazy schedules where it's like sometimes we don't really get that much time. So far, we've been able to... Um, correlate is correlate the word I'm, I'm trying to use maybe or day off where we both have the same days off so we could you know spend more time together but sometimes it doesn't really work out like that and so like the breakfast dates are very important to me just time where we get to spend together so right now I'm sitting waiting for him to come back from inside so we can go to the breakfast spot to have a little date and then we'll see what we get up to for the rest of the day breakfast looks like oh so good. I had to get two. Going down waiting for my class to be over, which it should be in like the next 15 minutes so I can go to the gym. I'm already ready for the gym while I'm watching the last 15 minutes of the class and I'm being waited on. So like the next 15 minutes need to go because I'm already not <laughs> gym ready. I always feel so self-conscious about like going into the gym because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing and like what we're going to see. Tell me how I let this man convince me to come to the gym. My hair is itchy. So I'm going to have to wash my hair tomorrow. And I just agreed to come in three days a week. I don't know that I can do that. I'm not doing that. I changed my mind. I feel like mentally it's just too much. Like I'm, I'm struggling. It's hard. It's too hard. I can't. Oh my God. Wow. I just did Lauren. Is it Geraldo's 12, 3.30 on the treadmill was going to kill me. The treadmill was really going to take me out. I'm just in there lifting weights and everything. Like, I'm not cut out for that. Tell me how I'm sitting out here in the car and somebody, like, ran into the back. He's young. He doesn't look like he knows what's going on. He's saying that it's his first car. It's been parked in his garage for, like, three years or whatever. But I do not know what to do. And man, just taking forever to come out of the gym. Small fry, medium fry. Small fries and some chicken nuggets. Not as just uh, leaving the gym piece, in order. Piece, four piece. Nah, it's okay. Just let me get some ketchup. You said ketchup? Yeah. Okay. So I got the McChicken, small fry, four piece. And you should get, else. yeah, you should get a McChicken too because it's just the, the chicken and the lettuce. That's the healthiest thing on yeah. there. Guys, imagine going to the gym. This man came out here and bought himself some McDonald's, huh? We just left the gym after the boy ran into like the side of the car or whatever and was starving. I didn't even realize that for you um, work out, you feel so hungry. So I felt like I was starving and McDonald's was the only place that was like open and available because right now it's 1.06 a.m. And I'm not even talking about the fact that we're gonna have to go home and like literally search for parking. I felt so bad for the little boy too because like, you know, for, so me, like he came out, I was the only one in the car because so he came out and he was pretty much like, ma'am, you know, I'm so sorry. Like I'm, 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 I was just trying to get into this spot here. So like we're parked here, another car's parked here. There's a space in between both cars and that's the space he was trying to get into. He's like, you know, I'm so sorry. I was just trying to get into the space or whatever. Like you can, you know, you can obviously tell that he's like a little bit young or whatever. So um, I don't know what to do, but I obviously know that you're supposed to get their license, you know, like at least a picture of their license or his license to see if I can like at least take a picture of it for when he comes out. Well, I can figure out what to do because I just felt like he was going to go away and leave me there because he just he could t I don't know I felt like he could tell that I didn't know much about like any of this you know luckily I was sitting in the car or we would have come out and it would have just been messed up my brain just went to the worst place because I'm like this 
felt like it was bad the way how like the car was like pushed forward a little bit and i just feel like he's probably gonna run over me if i come out there it sounds so dramatic like i went out there and like he was fine he was shaking a little bit you know talking or whatever he was like his hands and stuff he was so nervous I was but i so feel like but i feel like because i was so calm it kind of calmed him down a little bit i'm like i'm sure it's gonna be fine that's what i told him you know i'm like i'm sure it's gonna be fine it just looks like a scratch or whatever i feel like maybe because i wasn't yeah, as upset really like it was more of it was a better experience for him so we we he left and at this point like i'm I have PTSD. I don't know if I'm going to go back to the gym. If this was my car, <clears throat> I wouldn't even notice that the car was messed up. <laughs> you hear me? When I buy a car, it's going to be a lot of times where I come out and the only thing that's there is the spot. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh, so we've left the gym, had some McDonald's. Very, very unhealthy. Probably ate the same amount of calories that we just burned. And for me specifically, I didn't really burn a lot. I did the Lauren Geraldo, 12 through 30 and honestly at 20 minutes i had to like stop it for a little bit of rest and then i started back and did the other um 10 minutes and it felt good or whatever but now we're gonna go home we're gonna have to search to find parking for a long time and so that's supposed to be another process too but <laughs> this was quite the experience of going to the gym at midnight am i gonna do this again probably not at midnight mm -hmm. well maybe if if i'm off the next day then i i could probably do that because you know you sleep in the morning or whatever but yeah so I have my moments where I like to go to the grocery store and pick out my items individually. And then I have those other moments where I feel like I'm so tired and I'm so overworked for the week. And I want to just order some Target same day delivery, which is exactly what I did here. And you guys will see me going in and like putting the fruits on the table and stuff like that, which happens to be my favorite part of this season. Making sure that my table always looks good and always has fruits on there. So I'm just going through and packing out the things that I got in my same day delivery before I retire to bed.